Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm sure all of you are probably aware that Call of Duty Mobile has gone online in the U.S. I think it was as of yesterday, day before. And um, I've been playing that on PC, which I'll talk about in a second. First, I wanted to talk about the Modern Warfare beta. So I haven't posted any gameplay from that. And the reason for that was I only had a little bit of fun about one in every ten matches or so. <laughs> um, and... I have recordings, I have live commentaries, I have some de a couple of decent gameplays playing the game, but um, I feel like it would be kind of disingenuous to show that game off and or promote that game in any way when I didn't really enjoy it. So if any of the few people that watch me wants to see that footage, let me know, I can post it, I guess. Um, the problem with Modern Warfare, in my opinion, the main problem is the exact opposite issue that Black Ops 4 has, and that is the time to kill. And when I say that, I mean Black Ops 4's time to kill is way too high, and Modern Warfare's is way too low. And the reason this is true for me is because Black Ops 4's maps are just like Black Ops 3 and 2 and 1's maps for the most part. I mean, they'd have some complicated maps here and there once in a while, however, the Black Ops series for the most part has very simple, easy to navigate, um, easy to uh, determine positioning maps uh, in all of their games. Again, some are more complicated than others, some have more height um, advantages and whatnot and, and places to camp and all that kind of stuff, but for the most part, the Black Ops series has very straightforward maps. And I personally prefer those types of maps, and I'd say most of the community probably does as well, because what happens is it boils down to gun skill, whether or not you're good at those types of games. If you know exactly where the person's going to be, and you see them, they see you, it really it becomes who shoots first, who has the better aim, who has the better gun, that kind of thing. And it makes the game less campy, uh, more exciting, more streaks, it's more fun to me. Uh, Infinity Ward has been known <laughs> for a long time for making maps that... Uh, are the exact opposite. They have lots of different routes you can take, lots of different places you can camp, lots of different buildings and windows and uh, head glitches and places to, to hide, you know, where no one can find you. And <clears throat> it's, I would say it's more about positioning in those games, but really, reg regardless of what they say, they're just power positions. It's nothing to do with that at all. It's to do with camping, and it's to do with sneaking, and it's to do with hiding. And you know, some of their games, like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, there were some maps that were um, less cluttered and less chaotic. And I think people enjoyed those maps quite a bit. But Dave even admitted in interviews that the reason that they made certain maps like that in the past wasn't because they wanted to. It was because they felt pressure from the community to do it that way. And, you know, I kind of scratch my head at thoughts like that. Well... The community is who's buying your game. The community is who's playing your game. So, if that's what most of the people want, then, you know, I can understand you making a map here or there that was kind of whatever. But most of them should be straightforward, you know? So, either way, they, foc they, they made a legitimate focus on Modern Warfare 2019 to make it more difficult um, for gunfights to go smoothly. <laughs> Their entire goal was to take away the simple maps and make it more chaotic and more camper friendly for TDM was something to do with, that's kind of how they quoted it. That camping and head glitches and power positions were what made, that was the awesome sauce that made TDM so fun. Well first off, I fucking hate TDM. <laughs> and TDM is a cancerous mode, it's all about camping and stupid bullshit. I, I prefer objective modes because it takes more thought and more skill. That's just me. So. From the ground up, Modern Warfare, the maps are crazy and ridiculous. Uh, there's hardly any flow to them. When you have a map like that, when you have maps like that, it makes no sense to have such a low time to kill. But you're going to die in two seconds, a split second, from a thousand different positions at a thousand different angles. Whereas in Black Ops 4, you know exactly where the people are because it's just like every other Black Ops game. But it takes forever to kill somebody. At least a couple seconds longer than it normally would have, when you, especially when you throw in the specialist health boost and all kind of crap. 
So, in my opinion, if those two games switch their time to kill, um, if Modern Warfare had Black Ops 4s, maybe a little bit lower than Black Ops 4, but somewhere around there, and Black Ops 4 had the same thing that Modern Warfare has, a really, really low time to kill, or a lower time to kill, both games would be much better. It makes more sense. So, I mean, let me, let me know what you guys think about that in, in the comments. However, um, that's not the only issue I have with the game. Obviously, you probably also heard that uh, the exclusivity deal with PS4 this year involves uh, an entire portion of a game mode. So, Spec Ops, I've only remembered Spec Ops being the survival mode. I don't remember Spec Ops being anything other than survival. I guess it was more than that. I don't know. This year, supposedly, it's going to be open world and all this other stuff. Or close to open world, which is even cooler. However, the survival aspect of it apparently is only going to be available on PlayStation. Uh, PC and Xbox players won't have access to it until October of next year. <laughs> which is when Black Ops 5 or whatever Treyarch's stolen game is going to be called is coming out. So, honestly, if I see some things come out about Modern Warfare that make me interested, better maps, you know, some really cool stuff, um, I would consider buying it, but only if I could get it at a discounted cost. I'm not going to pay full price for a game that PlayStation is getting more content for the same price. It makes no sense. Okay, so with that out of the way, in the background you've been watching some Call of Duty Online <laughs> on PC. Um... I feel a little bit scumbaggy playing it on PC, however, at the same time, I'm pretty sure using Game Loop, you're more likely to encounter other PC players. Don't quote me on that, but I've heard people talking about it, and that Game Loop actually tries to put you in only PC lobbies. I don't know if it's true. Um, I will say that, obviously, <clears throat> the ranked matches are more difficult than the regular matches, but the ranked matches aren't even difficult. I have a 5 kill death ratio in ranked. And I've only played 10 or 15 matches in the game and I already have two nukes. <laughs> so one of those is in the video. Um, I will say, I, I'd i say in like a month or two, uh, there's going to be so many people playing it with a controller on their iPad or iPhone or whatever device, uh, or playing it with Game Loop on PC, that it's not going to be wise to only play it on your phone or tablet. And... I will say that it's kind of dumb on Activision's part for not making this a PC option as well. Because Tencent has Call of Duty Online in Japan or China, wherever it is, and it's a full PC version. It's, it's, I've uploaded a couple gameplays of that uh, a long time ago, but it's all in a foreign language and it's hard to decipher and I don't want to deal with all the lag and all that. But you know, especially nowadays, why not have that in the U.S.? It would make a, a ton of sense, and it would be a ton of fun. Because I'll tell you what, Kyle Online right now, playing it on PC, is the exact opposite of Modern Warfare's experience. You're not dying every two seconds, you're actually fucking just dis destroying everything and everyone. It's like playing against bots, even though you're not playing against bots, except for the first match or two. Um, which, that in itself is not fun. I don't like shitting on people because they're at a disadvantage. But the matchmaking itself feels more like a Call of Duty should be. A little obviously in the opposite direction. It's too easy. But it just goes to show you what the games kind of used to be like. Like you used to get put in lobbies with people that looked like bots. And every once in a while that was fun. It was fun to play like that some, sometimes. You know, so um, obviously on PC the graphics are not amazing. Um, with Game Loop, you can adjust certain things. You can adjust the graphics size. You can put them. I have a 1080 Ti for the win graphics card, so I should be able to use the HD optimization. However, it says that I can't for some reason. I think maybe it's just not optimized for that yet. Um, so hopefully, there's some kind of update that allows that to happen. I do have everything else upgraded and updated and pushed as far as it'll go. Um, there actually is an FOV slider, so 65 is the console you know, FOV, you can put it up to 75, which, not a huge leap, but it does help, um, makes me a little less dizzy <laughs> when I play it, a little less uh, seasick, car sick feeling, um, you know, I don't have a problem with the monetization model either, I mean, um, it's exactly what I want out of most COD games, really, I mean, you, you play, you grind, you upgrade, you get stuff, 
you know, obviously you have less class options available. You have to grind quite a bit just to unlock new class items and things, but um, and new layouts. But uh, it's just an interesting game. It's cool. It's fun. I, I'm like I'm actually having more fun playing this than I was Black Ops 4 or Modern Warfare, which is sad because it's a mobile game that plays clunky and everything. But hey, it's free and it's not a sweat fest for me at least. And, and again, like I said. You know, stomping on people that can't move their characters around, it does, it's not super fun to me. However, at the same time, I guarantee you in a month or two, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a little sweaty uh, in the ranked playlist because a lot of the people are going to be using controllers and keyboard and mouse. So, again, if any of you want to check it out, uh, it's the Game Loop program. Go look that up, and you can download the app, the Call of Duty app to that, and... Uh, Super easy to record with, super easy to play. Um, it's just been pretty fun. I, you know, I jumped into a, a match of Blackout, uh, the Ground War, or whatever, Battle Royale, and first place, first match, which I'll put that in the background too. However, there's no sound in that match. For some reason, my audio wasn't set up to, it wasn't uh, routed properly to my mixer, so <clears throat> there's no audio to it, but whatever, I'll just throw some music over it or something. Um, anyway, I, I've not uploaded anything for a while for several reasons. Obviously, I'm not super into Black Ops 4 or Modern Warfare. And uh, my health's been going down the shitter. My MS has been getting worse, slowly, um, progressing. And I've developed a bunch of food allergies, so my diet's gone to shit. And I've lost a bunch of weight. Um, I'm, like, not dangerously skinny, but I'm getting close. So... Uh, I've just not been feeling great. <laughs> Probably gonna be starting to take low dose naltrexone. Hopefully, if it helps me at all, we'll see. But uh, anyway, just a quick update on all things COD and uh, really quick there on my life stuff. Um, if you guys like this game or the looks of it, check it out. Add me, whatever. We'll play some. Um, either way, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and then we'll catch you next time. Peace.